Right guys, it's uh, Monday morning in April for the, for the viewers in South America. It is a recent video. Um, and we are here today, dearly beloved, to look at a Kia Diarrhea Apostrophe D seed. And this is a little winner we're going to take for a drive. Now I've never driven one, ever in my life. So I'm going to drive one today. And they're actually really, really quite Reminds me of a mark, a golf, to be honest, doesn't it? Yes, it reminds me of a golf. I have, thank you. Yeah, um, it reminds me of a Volkswagen Golf. And honestly, as far as Volkswagen Golfs go, it does look similar, doesn't it? I mean, I, I you know, it, all right, it doesn't look that similar, but it, I think it looks similar. So, it's got five doors, very good for children. It's got those kids seats in that were in that Taran. Did you save them? And um, it's also a hatchet back. And if I'm lucky, oh, it's electrically opening as well. And it works. Look at that cavernous boot. Just so you could get loads of toilet rolls and stuff in it. Yeah. Oh, fuel cans probably going to need. But yeah, I like it. I think I'm going to. And it's a 57 plate. And it's very reasonable at uh, 1,500 quid. Yeah. All right, okay. Anyway, so we won't, we won't go down. We'll open the door. We'll take a look inside. Look at that interior. Plush. Look, complete with the warning signs. Don't drink the battery fluid. Don't drink the screen wash. And don't drink the antifreeze or it'll kill your liver. But other than that, I think the car is quite well equipped. Look at that. All room for all those children. Hundreds of them. Just, and I don't know, but you've got a little window there, look. I think it's a great little car and uh, we're going to take it for a drive, aren't we? Right, so we're going to be continued when we're driving. You're all the front of the screen. Anyway, right, we're here again. Now we're going to start up the, uh, the, the high revving apostrophe seed and do we have to wait for some lights to go out? Oh, battery sounds like it's about on its last legs. No, but they all like... sound like that, I've been reliably told. Now the clutch, oh. something's off. Something's gone off. Somebody That's asleep has gone the off. The airbag. Well, the old bag's gone off. I oh, know, switch the airbag off because the kids like to ride in the front. Right, handbrake. Very reasonable. Just the right amount of clicks. Oh, oh, and we're off. My God, the clutch is, well, the clutch is interesting. Uh, are, are all kids seeds like this? The answers in the comments. Yeah, please tell me, because I'll tell you what, I pumped that clutch a few times. And then when I started driving off, I actually felt it was better when you're moving, it's better than it is when you start from cold. Is that my sort of... I don't know, that... you, you haven't changed gear yet, so... I was, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. But will it crunch, then? Uh, it depends on how... Ooh, yeah, it, it, that is really, really violently done. But I, I think, you know, all in all, for... I mean, how much was this when it was new? The wipers are running around the way. Indicators are running all way. Why is it all the cars go from one side to the other side? This is the same as a Range Rover, you know that? Yeah, it is. But it's not the same as a Jag, because the Jag's got indicators on the left. And then you find a lot of... Except like... it's an E-Type, which would be on the right. So what the hell? Hang on. Oh, God. Yeah, there's definitely not. That isn't any... That's not good. I've been driving around for ages and I haven't had a problem. Yeah, but that's because you just because you're a professional. And you, you drive around for two minutes and you, like, you're, like you've... You've only, you've only got up to second gear. Just said, look at the whole dog there. Oh, anyway, right. Now, have well, we got a, an economy meter on this one? What are we doing to the gallon? Uh, about 39. That uh, thing's off a little bit. But that there? It doesn't like it when you get up too high. I mean, it's only it's like a 1.6 with about 80 brake horsepower, this thing. So you, you get too high up in the gears and it judders really bad. Yeah, I can feel that. At slow speed. We are sort of like, this is like a, a, a sort of an average family car. Very well, you know, massive great windscreen. And you've got loads of room to see out. It's very spacious. I mean... It is actually. I, I'm actually surprised. But the dashboard seems very low. It's sort of like the dash feels quite low, so, you're high up. That's so that you have more windscreen. Yeah. But no, it's, I mean, it has got things in its favour, hasn't it? I mean, it's sort of quiet. It's doing 38.5. It's not quite as exciting as the Taran because the thing doesn't change. Are you sure that's not just like a, a screen you glued on there? It is, isn't it? Oh, it's gone. Oh, no, I've, I've reset it. it. Oh, thank you, because I want to see what I can get because so, I'm a good driver. 146 miles until it needs to be refueled. Alright, we've got enough to get the trophy set. 
indeed. Now, not to make it a uh, less entertaining video, but if you try not talking for a minute yes. and listen, when Just you're driving, the yes, right. when you're driving, yes. it's like there's an ambulance or a police car yeah, I hear that. all the time. I've heard that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I heard it then. Because yeah. when I first drove it, I was like... You thought you were being chased. Yeah, I was like, what's going on? I mean, it's got quite a good ergonomic display on it, hasn't it? I mean, it, you've got a rev counter, though. And I really want to know... Have I? Oh, I thought that was a clock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is, it's moving. Just, just for the viewers. Yeah, all you, right. You can see the clock. <laughs> yeah, I thought maybe I had a real clock, like a round one. What, that, that's a clock up there? That's not a clock. That is a clock. I'm going through with Look, it. Like you did 51.8 miles to the gallon. I told moment. you I'd get this up to more miles per gallon than you could, because you drive too fast. 52. I will get this. I'll see if I can get this to 70. Right? <laughs> okay. I watched some film yesterday, and it's that one where, where the guy stands on the beach and hugs his daughter, and then they get washed away. What? The... Uh... No, it's like the end of the, There's a guy on a boat. There's a guy. What makes me laugh? Deep right? impact. Yeah, deep impact. Right, I've got to say something about deep impact. This is what's so funny. Right, the world is falling apart. The kid has got a Honda motorbike, I think it was. He and didn't have it. The oh, neighbour had it. All right, when he went out, he got the Honda. <laughs> Thank you for that. He went out, and what did the first thing? The world is falling apart. There's another thing. He puts a crash helmet on. He actually picks up a crash helmet and they put their helmets on before he started the bike and rode off. Yeah, okay. Yeah, subliminal messages. Now, when okay. he was yeah, 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 yeah. Safety yeah, yeah, first. But, but yeah. the world is falling apart. At that point in time, you are more likely to need a helmet because there's going to be more Flying people debris. driving like erratically. Yeah. Yeah, all right, okay. So, but I would, in actual I would, fact, that, that I, was... I would just punch it this to you, right? When I saw him riding up the hill in the pine forest, right, yeah. that kid couldn't ride a bike. He reminded me of somebody. No, he, didn't. he could not ride a motorbike. I mean, in fact, he rode that thing like a, I don't know, like a two-year-old. Should have put pedals on it as far as I was concerned. He was hopeless. Uh, can I say, look, just look at this. Look at the miles per gallon, guys. Just look at the miles per gallon. Ramping up he is. He is the boy. That is, that'll show you how you get more miles per gallon. Are you in neutral? Yeah. <laughs> He's just gliding. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Who asked you in the back? Who asked you for your comments? It doesn't like fifth when you go in 20 mile like, an hour. It doesn't like any gears. I'm, I'm after the MPG challenge. I'm I, I, I don't think the MPG challenge is going to take off on TikTok, Edward. TikTok? I'm sorry. TikTok. <laughs> it might do. How do you know? People are stupid. I mean, come on. Because that's the very reason it won't take off on TikTok. Why? Because you think they're all stupid. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I, I mean, I've seen some of them influencers. Why have they all got stupid lips and great big, like, like Tata Grandes? Is it something about... I can't get that. I can't get the thing into fifth gear, can you? Like yeah, but we're in a 50 mile an hour limit and I'm doing the spin legal speed limit. You be 40. Yeah, like yeah, I see, like Gypsy says, yeah. <laughs> you do 50, you went. So I said, when you get to 100, what gear are you in? She says 10. Look at that, look, look, get that before you get that miles per gallon. Look at that is, that shows you what you can achieve in a Kia Seed. When I went round the top gear test track in it, <laughs> I had trouble getting in gear. <laughs> the Ed Gear test track. Yeah. I'll tell you what though, I mean, it drives just like a normal car. Like any other car, doesn't it? I mean, it's, the world's gone funny when you haven't got it popping a bang and you haven't got to worry about the ignition timing, advance the timing on here and get it to go properly. Mixture's wrong. There's a roof on it and a heater, which is why I absolutely love. <laughs> and look at, all these, look at all these airbags. It's got more airbags, hasn't it? It's got it side airbags. It does have lots of airbags. It's got curtain airbags. It doesn't have any seat airbags. It doesn't, or it has. No, I, 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 I don't I believe that. so. As, as, what, you haven't got ones in the seat? I don't believe so. I mean, well, I, the only thing I don't like about this it, car, I will say, MPG. is, is I don't, which I really don't like, is the gearbox. And I think that might be because it's attached to the clutch that's not very, very good. <laughs> so, I mean, for a 1500, I mean, it's... 1600. Oh, six, seven, oh, no, it's, it's 16, isn't it? Where's that figure going? Six. Where? Yeah, I know. I oh, 55.9. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, you just jellac. You're just jellac. Making too much of a meal out of the 
gearbox. You're just jellac. You can't get that to bump a gun like your own Kia seed like me. I could drive, I could take this to anywhere on 56 miles per gallon. I'm about to get one, am Charlie? For you? Yeah. What's the special <laughs> price? What's it? Last Char price. Charlie would love the clutch. Last price? Yeah, last price. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> how, many, how many thousands of miles have they got on it? 142. 142. And how many clutches that had? Well, one for sure. Look at that miles per gallon. Just look at that miles per gallon. Let's look at what a genius that I can I can make a Kia Seed do. I can make this Kia Seed. You have to go into gear though. No, it's all about saving money. What was that I other mean, car you had, Lee? What? That was a good one. That tow rag. No, the one that used to like you accelerated oh, yeah, and shook like hell. Green like, light and cheese. And I That's said if right, you no. managed to sell this. Oh, what, the Berlingo? Was it the Berlingo? Yeah, that bloody thing. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that thing. I'll, I'll never forget that. Was that. Like a, that was a dead. You left that with me. Went, oh, yeah. Can I borrow yeah. your brand new van, Dad? Hold on a minute, hold on a minute. And I'll leave you the piece of crap. I can drive any car. Me and a car is like man and machine. We just meld together. You do. <laughs> no, that thing. Look at that. Look at the MPG. <laughs> I'll, give, I'll give it its dues. The, the, the Berlingo was pretty bad. <laughs> terrible. It was pretty bad. It was pretty bad. I turned around and said, if you could sell this, you could sell it. You could sell sand to Arabs. Yeah. It was mental, that thing. Yeah. It was. Uh, it was really, I think, really I think bad. you lot are just all too sensitive about your motor vehicles. No, we're no, not sensitive. Like, we, just, not. we just like to have a vehicle that is, that just is wasn't not there. a death trap. <laughs> I mean, that was not good, that. I don't care what you say. That was seriously scary. We've got scary. a fair share of creepy vehicles. Yeah, you know. we got a, a regrets. I've had a few. I mean, this this is Rather if the clutch was well, good on it, you've got it. <laughs> this would be a bad old car. Find a gear to get in. Find a, find, find a gear. See, it's the clutch doesn't want to let go. That's what I can't understand. Are you sure it's not on mag or pre-select? Semi or maybe it's pre-select. You have to dip the clutch first. I mean, if you can, if you get the anger drive in it, you can put it in a really high gear and just slip the clutch. <laughs> and pretend it's an automatic. <laughs> No, I, I think it's a shame because that is like just a little silly detail that lets down what is absolutely a very, very nice little car. I mean, I think it's just, I think I, I just wanted to get out of 58. I don't think I'm going to do it. I'm trying. Uh oh, look out. I think, look out. You know what's happened today? It's a busy day and they're all here. They're all here, here and here. 7.9. Go. Right guys, so I have to go off and do something. I have to go see a man about a dog and uh, I'll be back. So to be continued. Okay guys, well we made it back and the apostrophe D went really well. Now, having a quick look around her, I mean, she's not a bad old car. Uh, the clutch made a hell of a bang and then all of a sudden it got better. So whether there's some sort of adjustment cone on the, on the, on the yeah, I just no idea what happened. But, she seemed to improve herself, so to be continued. So for the minute, we made it back, and uh, there it is. 